Uh, you know what? I think it takes uh, more than one day to uh, to digest everything. Like it's it's a long season, and uh, it's. Uh, it, it, I told the coaches yesterday that we're going to take a little bit of time and uh, put on paper right now what we think and think about it and uh, uh, meet maybe at the NHL draft and see. Uh, where we at but right now it uh, it's tough it's disappointing um, when you know uh, the time you invest the effort players are uh, putting in every day uh, all summer long that preparation every practice the off ice the traveling the preparation for them for coaches even you guys, reporters, like we're we're here every day. It's 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 a it's a grind, and uh, playoffs start. You're all excited, and uh, a week later, it's over. So um, it's tough to digest, but at the same time, I think there's uh, there's only half of the team that are making the playoff. So those teams are good teams, and uh, I thought this Cleveland deserve. Uh, no doubt to advance and uh, for us it's it's about learning about what we uh, what we can do better could you have uh, man I know you went in the series expecting to win could you, could you have done anything differently or in retrospect uh, what what do you think stood out as like the main difference uh, I, I really like our preparation and uh, when I when I say I really like our preparation I really like our week of practice uh, before first game, I thought we were physically and mentally at the right place. And then the game starts, and it seems that there's so much pressure on us that we can't skate, we can't think. And uh, all of a sudden, you're, you're not playing well, and uh, you got to stay with it. And we didn't do it like we, I thought we uh, put a lot of pressure on ourselves to, to win that first game. and second night it's worse uh, it's it's the best of five so you kind of feel that it's a must win tonight and I, I think we had uh, a bad game and then you start thinking you start doubting yourself and when you doubt yourself you're uh, you uh, it's like a parasite inside you and it's sucking your energy out and uh, it, it takes your, it takes your energy, it takes your, your grit, it takes your speed, and when you're focusing on what if, what if, what if, instead of going out there and play with confidence, it's a total different, uh, it's a total different game, and uh, I thought we, we, we bounce back game three, we played better, but not, not not like the Syracuse Crunch expect to play, but we found a way to win. Um, and game four, uh, rough first period, Eddie kept us alive. Then we had a big push uh, near the end, but too little, too late. Uh, overall, like, uh, like I'm very proud of our guys going to Cleveland to win. Like there was no quit in us. Obviously, there was there was doubt in, in our players' head. Uh, they had to deal with it. I thought they did the best they can. Uh, we also have to have in mind that I thought we had seven players, which for them was their first appearance in the playoff. And it's 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 a lot of players that are. Ex uh, experimenting a, a playoff at this level and it's not an excuse but I feel that those guys will be better uh, next year last year we had seven eight guys also with their first playoff experience uh, and it, it shows like when when key moment happen in the game it, it shows that uh, experience count in the playoff and uh, and I don't blame those guys for that not not even close but I'm just saying that still a young team still have a lot to learn 
we had a good regular season. I think we we got to be proud of that. We we can build a lot on that. But now it's for us to really use like our, our playoff last year against Toronto for those first year players and uh, this year playoff against Cleveland to be next year uh, a better prepare team when we first ad- when we face adversity in the playoff and uh, I, I think it's it's part of the process uh, like I said I'm very proud of the, the fact that we went to Cleveland and you felt the urgency and uh, it's it's a good sign for me and uh, it's uh, look we want to win a championship here if it's there like it's the American Hockey League like Tampa Bay's not in the playoff to the, this year so it's a good year for us to 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 have a push for that like we we're not losing any players and anything like that and it's uh, we don't advance, so it's it's tough. Like I mentioned, it's tough right now, but it's it's hockey at the same time, and we have got to learn from it. That parasite of doubt that you described did that did that surprise you? Because I know you've, you've liked your team, you've liked the toughness. What, did that surprise you that in those moments they didn't quite have that belief? I'm not surprised because when you're a pro athlete, you you deal like the season is always there's bumps in the season, up and down. And when I say you got to have your mindset at the right place and you got to take uh, one game at a time. It's for that. But now when you go into the playoff, like obviously everyone who watch us prepare for Cleveland, we didn't take them lightly. And I think it's more about we, we wanted our guys to come here and be excited, be loose and focused, but excited. And uh, I thought they put too much pressure on themselves and like I mentioned, like when when the doubt's in you, it, it's tough to uh, you're you're in the battle all the time. Like you, it's tough at, when you're a young player to park that and focus on what you control and do your thing. So it's uh, I think it's part of the process. And uh, but again, like for me, I, I really feel that our guys did a great job at pushing the reset button in Cleveland. Focus on the right thing. The battle. We we won one game. They they believe we 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 could win the second game as well. Didn't go our way. You've had some deep playoff runs, early exit. Is there anyone that's easier to digest, or is just losing losing? It's tough either way. Like you really appreciate when you win. <laughs> that that is for sure. Like or when you go in the final. Like when you go in the final, you really feel that you know what. There's only two teams left. And we, we all understand, I believe, that there's only two teams at the end going to be in the final. There's only one team going to win. Uh, losing against Grand, Rap- Grand Rapids, it's tough because I, I still think about it once in a while because it's, uh, you're so close to, to win uh, a championship. And it, it's so important for us to, to bring a championship to Syracuse. Like, when you work for for Steve Eisenman, Julian Brisebois, Howard, you work with Vance and Jimmy, you, you, you want to win for them. Like everything they bring to the table every day. So it's uh, that's how we feel as a coaching staff. That's that's how the players feel the way they're treated here. So two years ago was it's it's a tough one to lose in the final. But it's also a tough one now. But for me, it's two years ago, we had a, an older team, sorry. We had an older team. Now we're a young team. We were a young team last year, good regular season, good first round, and then you lose in the second round. This year, another young team. So for me, it's about, you know what? They're learning. They're learning, and some of them, I'm sure today they're gonna say, you know what, I'm happy with my first round. And some of them is going to say, I'm not happy, like I, I didn't do well. But it's for them to digest that, think about it, and come back next year and learn. Show people that you have learned from the, 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 that playoff round this year.